Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we are going to see how you could send emails in Python using SMTP library. So SMTP library comes pre-installed with your Python installation. So you don't need to install that again. But one thing that you need to do is head over to your account security settings and turn on the option for less secure apps. If you're using this with your main or your primary account, this is not recommended. I'm using a throwaway account here. So once that is done, let's get into a code. So first you need to import the SMTP library and then we'll call the SMTP function, which is done using SMTP, SMTP library dot SMTP. So the first argument that it needs is your server URL, which is SMTP dot Gmail dot com for Gmail. And the next argument that it needs is a port number. The port number is 587 for Gmail. If you are using it with Yahoo or any other mail service provider, the port number and the URL would be different. So then we'll call in the server.startTLS function. So what this function does is that it takes your insecure connection and upgrades it to TLS or SSL connection. And then we'll read in the email ID. So the way in which I'm reading the email ID here is that I've created a config file. So within the same directory, I've created a config Python file, which contains the variable email and password. And I've assigned my email and password ID to those variables. So then uh, once you have read the email ID, we'll similarly read the password as well. So once that is done, we could log into the server. So the first argument will be the email ID and the next argument would be the password. So once we are logged in, we'll create our message that we are sending. This is accomplished using MIME, which is a multi-purpose multi internet mail extension. So first we'll create the text or the body of our message. So we'll just put it sent from Python. So once we've created the text, we need to assign the from field. So the from field will be the email, the email that we just read. So this will be email. And the two field will be the one we are sending the email to. In my case, I'll send it to myself. So it will again be the same email. And then we'll create the subject. We will just give a hello world here. So once we have uh, created our message, we could just use the send mail function, which is server dot send mail and the first argument is the from email which is the email variable and the next argument is the to email i'm sending it to myself and the next you have to convert this mime object into a string which is done as message dot as string and then we'll print out a message telling that the mail was successfully sent so print mail is successfully sent so once we do that, uh, I have to import the MIME object, which is from email dot MIME dot text. Import MIME text and I have to also import the config file, which contains the email ID and the password. So I'll just run it and let's see what happens. So name message is not defined. I have misspelled it, I believe. So yeah, I had misspelled the message here. So I'll run it again and see what happens. So there you go, you get the mail is successfully sent. I'll check my Gmail account. So here you go, you get the mail. So in SMTP library, there are few other options too. You could also send attachments and uh, various other ASCII characters because we are using multi-purpose internet mail extension. You could also send in your error or log messages. So this is pretty much it in this video. Thank you for watching.